What's going on, guys? Gabe with The View Dork. It's Monday. It's a brand new week and a brand new opportunity to make some money. The subject matter here is AMC. And over the weekend, we got all the details between Robin Hood and Citadel and how these guys lied under oath. I mean, if that was me or you, we would literally be burned to the stake. But hey, this is just the way the cookie crumbles. I want you guys to raise your flag because you are the change in the market. Now, let's go to the four hour daily here because through the weekend, and we are currently in pre-market, we could see that AMC has reasserted itself above the trend line. And when we zoom out, we could see that AMC is bullish. It's moving on up. Slow and steady wins this game. Now, when we go to the daily here, I want you guys to really pay attention to a couple of things. One, the MACD line. We do have a bearish cycle, but it looks like it's coming to conclusion. And we do have a doji candle here, which is a sign of reversal. This is a great time for AMC. Reversal on a Monday, closing at 4001. Look at my tits are jacked. Now, what I do want to see is the RSI break above 50. If we can break above 50, we can show strength in our continuation upwards. And this is something that we would all cheer for. Now, I want to talk about Wortex data because for those who are visual learners, and I think Applejax is a visual learner. He hates reading. I know a lot of you hate reading as well. That's why you jump on YouTube and you subscribe to channels like this. The visual learners, I want you to pay attention to the days to cover based on the last 10 days. Now, the last time we had updated data was September 20th. I expect this data to be updated and we will cover this at the 4 p.m. close. But I expect this number to go up considerably considering the low volume that we experienced last week. Now let's look at the catalyst here. London-based cinema operator Odeon said on Monday it has sold more than 175,000 tickets for the James Bond movie, No Time to Die. This is hitting the big screen this week after multiple delays wrought by the pandemic. Studios are pushing out movies and we're getting it at the later end of the year. This bodes well for AMC, especially considering that in November, we're going to have another shareholder meeting and we would like to see how the company has progressed since our last shareholder meeting, more importantly, revenue. And we want to beat Wall Street estimates? Absolutely. And this will then shift sentiment from the big guys, even though at this point, we don't need big guys. now. The company is owned by AMC and the attendance in its UK venues this month was tracking 10% above pre-crisis levels. I do not want to think that this is exclusive to the UK. We will surely see that uptick here on this side of the pond and globally, people are just experiencing COVID fatigue. That's pretty much it. Now, before we conclude this video, I want to cover something here, and we are going to cover something called ATR. With uh, ATR, we got to understand it's a volatility indicator, but this number here, $3.49, and this is on the daily. This is telling us that AMC average true range is about $3.49. So you could expect a move to the upside or the downside by about $3. Now, if we shift to the weekly, and I know you guys who play weekly options are like, oh my God, Eureka, this is the answer to all my problems. Listen, stop playing weeklies. Those lotto tickets, they're fun, but they're dangerous and they will destroy your account faster than your girlfriend will leave you for checking out some hot chick on Instagram, right? So we go ahead and we see ATR on the weekly. The range is at or about $9.35. So this tells us the range or the average range of which AMC could move on the week. Now, I know you guys are saying like, whoa, wait. So if it's gonna move $9. That means by the end of the week, we should be about $49.50. See, I'm a conservative trader and I'm more about under promise over deliver. So under promise over deliver because I do not do speculation on this channel. So with that being said, for those who play options, and I'm not saying to play options on AMC. In fact, if you do, you're an asshole. But 
for those who are playing other plays in the market. You could use the average true range on a weekly play, let's say on something like Lucid, and say to yourself, okay, well, we know the move could be $9. Where is my strike going to be? But I want you to be ultra conservative. You want your strikes to be about 30% of the average true range. This keeps you humble and modest and puts you in position to print money as opposed to losing all your money and options. So in the case of AMC, let's just say the average move on a weekly is $9.26. We would say that the average move for this week is $3. Again, under promise over deliver. Anything more than that, round of applause. But you go ahead and you save yourself some liquidity. Now I'm gonna get into the ATR in far more detail in our day trading video that's dropping this afternoon. But guys, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, go ahead, Enjoy your Monday, enjoy your week. I really feel like this is a very bullish week for AMC. This is Gabe, I'm signing out, peace.